So to start off the new year, the Boruto anime has dropped a brand new opening and ending to commence the adaptations of the Sasuke Resident novel and the Code Assault arc from the Boruto manga. I was initially going to react to both the opening and ending, but the video kept getting clapped with copyright, so instead we're just going to break down what was shown in the new opening and ending. Quick reminder though, I will go into manga spoilers, so if you do not want to be spoiled, especially if you're anime only, I highly recommend just clicking off the video right now. Anyways, let's start off with the new Boruto opening and unlike many of the past openings, this opening does not reference much of the manga. Primarily focusing on the new generation in this OP, the opening begins with Boruto and crew running toward the sunlight. There we get to see all of the teams starting from Team 15, Team 5, Team 7, Team 25, Team 10, Team 40, and Himawari's classmates from the Academy arc, essentially bringing all of the new gen together. The following scene does show Boruto and Kawaki in their Karma V2 forms, facing away from each other. Kawaki is highlighted in green and Boruto is highlighted in red red, almost hinting that one side is good and the other is bad. And since we know that Kawaki fights Momoshiki later in the code arc, it hints at the incoming battle and who is in the right. As Kawaki was fighting for the leaf aka the good guys, and Momoshiki was fighting to feed Kawaki to the tentails aka the bad guy in the situation. Not only that, this scene is portrayed in a dark background, almost to show that this fight happened in the nighttime when the fight took place with smoke forming behind them, as the fight did cause plenty of smoke and debris to fly all over the battlefield. Next we do see a CD rotate and could appear through the reflection where he does wake up from a nap. The CD rotates again and we see the first appearance of Ada and Damon in the opening with Ada's Senrengan eyes showing code in the background. Ada's Senrengan has the ability to rewind time to events that has happened in the past and with code being in the reflection of her eye it makes it seem like Ada is watching code through her dojutsu and with the fact that CDs can be replayed to look at past events of a recording for example the CD serves as a symbol for Ada to rewind to look at past events. After that scene we see Boruto's entire class fight Kara's puppets and drones that were used in past arcs. And if you remember back in the Vessel arc, Team 7 did fight these drones extensively, especially when Boruto fought Al. In the opening, we do see Ishiki's cubes being dropped on Kara's drones, as it hints that Kawaki is using Ishiki's dojutsu, which was shown in the previous Boruto opening. The cubes are then destroyed by Team 10 and Team 15, followed by a scene showing all of the Osusuki down to Code, Ada, and Damon, showing that they have some sort of connection to the Osusuki clan, which they obviously do. Code has a white karma which was bestowed by Ishiki, and Damon and Ada's abilities came from Shibai Osutsuki. If you do notice in the background, they are in Ishiki's dimension where the Ten Tails is at, and where in the next scene, the next gen is facing off against Code, Ada, and Damon in that same dimension. I don't know how they got there in the first place, but this opening was clearly for the new gen as a whole. The ending does end off with Team 7 doing their signature moves, and for the most part, the opening did not show many spoilers, which means that they are definitely keeping the big moments of the code arc wrapped away tight until it is shown in the anime. The arc is mostly about Boruto and Kawaki as they do take up a large portion of the code arc but instead with this new opening all of the new gen has been shown. And like many of the past openings I doubt that we are going to see any of the new gen characters fight code aside from Boruto and Kawaki in the anime since it was shown in the manga what had happened. The Boruto anime does this all the time where there is a big all out battle with the new gen versus a big army such as Kara's robots and the Kara members themselves which was shown in previous openings so this is more or less an add-on from those specific battles which most likely will not be shown in the actual anime. Overall I did find the opening to be pretty enjoyable, it was cool to see Ada and Damon in the anime for the very first time, hinting at the future battle between Kawaki and Momoshiki. They didn't show much but I think it was enough to get the fans excited for what's to come in this arc. Now let's talk about the new ending man, ending 23 is an amazing ending as it focuses on Boruto and Kawaki's relationship. I just want to say the visuals are top tier. It opens with Boruto and Kawaki looking toward each other on top of a lake as the sun begins to rise. There the Karma brothers begin to reflect on their past with Boruto looking at Naruto's face on the Hokage monument during the day and Kawaki doing the same at night. Boruto then looks at his right hand and Kawaki looks at his left hand, the spot where the two of them both have their Karma seals at. We then see a reflection of Momoshiki through the lake that Boruto is standing on, hinting that eventually Boruto will become Momoshiki. This was stated in chapter 72 as Momoshiki vows to make sure that Boruto does not die and that Momoshiki will live his life as Boruto Uzumaki. Kawaki, while looking at his hand, sees a reflection of Ishiki, showing that once he gets his karma seal back, Kawaki will become just like Ishiki in terms of power. The one person who gave Kawaki hell growing up will haunt him forever despite Ishiki being dead through the manifestation of Kawaki's karma and his powers that came along with it. Boruto and Kawaki then point their karmas toward each other and if you notice, Kawaki at this point in the story doesn't have his karma. Meanwhile, Boruto has his. We get 
warm memories from Boruto showing his family, Team 7, and Sasuke who are his closest bonds. Meanwhile, dark memories from Kawaki showing his loneliness, the experimentation that Kaoru did on his body, and Jigen abusing him when he was young. The following scene shows Sasuke with Boruto and Kawaki with Naruto, the mentors that are guiding the Karma brothers to become strong enough to protect the Leaf Village one day. Boruto then throws his headband to Kawaki which was a gift to him that was shown in chapter 60. We then get past memories of them together such as the two of them arguing, training, eating taiyaki which is Kawaki's favorite snack and then doing the unison sign after their initial spar. The ending then shows a vertical angle of Boruto and Kawaki where we see the ground form the patterns of the karma. The pattern was red representing Kawaki's karma seal since his karma is red. We then see Boruto and Kawaki facing away from each other in the darkness and unlike how the ending began in sunlight showing their past memories together, this part of the ending showed the divide between them, specifically the karma. Boruto and Kawaki really don't have a problem with each other which explains why we see Momoshiki appear through Boruto's body with the Byakugan awakened. We then see Kawaki's top end of his head become blacked out to hide his true karma form as we know from the previous Boruto opening, he will get his karma seal back eventually. The ending, just like the opening, is hinting at the battle between Momoshiki and Kawaki and then Kawaki turns and tries to punch Momoshiki but instead punches through the darkness into the bright light where Boruto is standing wearing Sasuke's headband that is crossed out. I did forget to mention that the anime did change Boruto's outfit, specifically his jacket. Throughout the anime, Boruto always rocked the long sleeve black jacket but in the new opening and ending, Boruto's jacket design was changed to his manga outfit where his jacket design is different and the handcuffs have a red and black stripe pattern to them. However, his sleeves are much shorter compared to his manga counterpart showing that Boruto's outfit is still a little bit different from its manga counterpart. Also with Code, Code's claw marks was changed to black because initially when he was first shown in the Boruto anime, the claw mark that was over the top of his head was white. So they did change that, plus with his eyes shown in the opening, his eyes went from red to green. That did show you that there was a change in color scheme when it comes to some of the main characters in the story. And when it comes to this ending man, visually like I said, it is amazing. This is definitely one of the best looking endings Boruto has ever had and probably the best one overall as it really dives deep into the relationship between Boruto and Kawaki. And to be honest with you, I don't think there is a better ending when it comes to this ending. Outside of Boruto ending 14 that's called Central, that is a really good ending as well. And I think when it comes to this ending, Boruto ending 23, this might give it a run for its money and I could probably argue that it's better considering the circumstances of the story and how it does tie into the main storyline. I think the ending was way better than the opening. So let me know what you guys think about the Boruto opening and ending. I'm not going to be reviewing the Boruto anime because I'm pretty busy with school but I do want to say that once we do get to those bigger battles like Boruto versus Code and Momoshiki versus Kawaki I will be making videos on that so don't worry about that I will be making more videos on the Boruto anime this year since there is going to be some more stuff that is going to be added into the anime and I definitely do want to talk about it with you guys so let me know how you guys feel about all of that in the comment section below and definitely go do join the discord where you guys can come talk to me about Boruto and whatnot so definitely go join the discord if you're interested and if you just want to talk to me in general if you like this video hit that like button subscribe hit the bell as well and have a good day peace